The impact of back stock not on sales floor. So we've talked a lot about omni-channel fulfillment, but a big part of sales for retailers is obviously in-store purchases. Back stock not on sales floor is a really important metric to be able to follow and understand the availability of items for your customers to purchase in stores. When you're doing an annual PI or your physical inventory, there's usually quite a bit of prep beforehand. So stores are cleaning up, facing everything forward, make sure that you're ready to count. So it's really important to measure you know, after all this prep, do you still have one of every style, one of every SKU on the sales floor available for purchase or not? Um, today, when there's supply chain issues everywhere, it's really important to make sure, you know, if you are short something, that's one thing. But if you have it, make sure it's available for sale for your client. That's why that's one of our metrics that we have in our inventory management on our scorecard report is to be able to measure, you know, not only are you able to fulfill omni-channel, but are your items actually available for sale on the sales floor? That's the importance of the backstock not on sales floor metric to be able to make sure it is available for your clients.